Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. <clears throat> uh, we're going to go over a couple things today before we start painting Adolfo's uh, CJ2A. Uh, it's kind of a misty morning out there. Sun's just coming up and I'm going to wait for it to clear up a little bit before I start painting. Uh, you're looking at Scott's 258 head. I got all the valves in, I got all the seats cut. And you can see, remember what I say when you got a good cut. Those valves are going to jump. So, uh, I took the time to get, I don't know if you can see the ring there, but we got a, a nice contact ring on all the valves, and this head is now ready to be cleaned and completely assembled. Uh, it took a while to get all those seats cut just right, but uh, we do have perfect contact on every single one, and uh, that will go together next and um, I can show you this is another one this is a uh, another AMC head that's getting the Chevy valves and uh, I don't know if you can tell but the uh, the, <clears throat> the bowls here are much bigger on this one uh, this took a lot of porting and polishing and stuff <clears throat> but um, that one's just about ready to go together as well. So I've got a bunch of AMC stuff happening. And uh, seems to be some of my least popular stuff. But like I say, if anybody wants to see this head go together, uh, I can show you that as well. Okay, here we are over at the transmission bench. Uh, that NV45 is done and back in the truck and running good. So no worries about that one. Uh, nobody wanted to see that one, so uh, I didn't show much on that. Uh, probably be the same thing on this, but uh, just checking to see. This is a T18. It's got the long input shaft because it's going in that J truck. Uh, it's been a long time since I've been on the J truck, uh, the J20. But I finally got it out of the weather and put it in a container uh, yesterday. And uh, I feel good about that, so now I want to get the transmission. This is a T18. I'm going to adapt it to the uh, 208 transfer case. Uh, you see on this, the output is on the driver's side, and most of the other earlier trucks, it was on the the uh, the passenger side. So I'm going to stick with the 208. I don't want to look for another transfer case or anything. This uh, T18 came from a viewer. I bought this a long time ago. I thought I would get to it quicker. But this is from Lee, and I opened it up, and it's absolutely beautiful inside. Uh, this is going to need very little, maybe just a small parts kit, but uh, even the blocking rings are perfect in there. So, Lee, I do appreciate the the, the transmission, and uh, <clears throat> I've got to change the whole main shaft out. So the whole thing has to come apart anyway, but uh, I have to change the main shaft out because that has to go into the splines here, 23 spline, and uh, so everything will come apart, new bearings, small parts, and uh, but every gear is perfect in there, so got real lucky on that. Uh, here's the original adapter off the T18 to uh, put it to a, uh, a Model 20 transfer case, so that we won't use, and we've got to do some drilling and tapping back here uh, for the adapter. Uh, but the adapter is only going to add maybe three and a half inches here. So it's a real short adapter and it should go in there pretty nice. Uh, <clears throat> the cover is very nice. The, the, the material on the pads isn't worn off or anything. So super nice transmission. I'm lucky to have it. And uh, thanks again, Lee. I don't know if you're still watching the channel, but uh, fantastic transmission that I got from you. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. Trying to make a, <clears throat> a bunch of room here in the shop, and I'm starting to get rid of some things. Um, <clears throat> this is a L6226 Super Hurricane engine out of a, I think this is out of a 62 uh, Willys pickup. It is a complete motor, uh, intake exhaust, carburetor, air cleaner, oil filter, starter, generator. Uh, it's got the bell housing, there's a clutch, there's a flywheel in there. It is a complete motor. 
Uh, I'm not going to rebuild it or anything. Um, if anybody needs a good engine to start with, this came out of a running truck. I put a, uh, <clears throat> a Chevy 350 in there, so this motor was running. I had it stored a while, and the damn mice got in there, made a nest back there, so at the very least, the clutch is going to have to come off. The motor does turn. <clears throat> it's not locked up or anything. Um, if anybody is interested in that engine, um, let me know. Uh, otherwise, I have to stick this outside or stick it in one of the containers or something. Uh, I don't normally rebuild a lot of the, sh the, the six cylinders, and I don't imagine anybody would be interested in seeing that because it doesn't seem to be a very popular engine, at least in my world. Um, I have done them in the past, but um, I, I don't know uh, if anybody needs one or wants one. But uh, this is if you don't have an engine or you got a real bad engine or you're missing accessories on one, this has everything. So. Uh, distributors on there, everything is there, so it's a good. Uh, like I say, you may put it in a stand or, or in your truck and it'll run fine. I don't know, I did not have it running, but it did come out of a running truck, and there it is. So just stick a comment below if you think you'd be interested in something like this, and uh, I can send it anywhere that it needs to go. Okay, guys, a quick look at my <clears throat> two new U bolt bending uh, shoes here. You see I got a lot of them here. Uh, and I have the ones for the Dana 70 to bend and there's there's the factory plates. And, but I needed some for that Dana 44. It's a different size than other Dana 44s. It's, it's much bigger. I don't know why it came out of an FC so I'm not sure if the tubes are heavier or whatever. But this is the big one that goes over the actual um, axle center housing so I need one of those and I need three of this size here so those are for the uh, for this Dana 44 so the, the, the shorties go there and that one big one goes over that so I have <coughs> excuse me I have the uh, uh, the material for the U-bolts and I'm gonna get those bent up I gotta make some spring plates for the front and as usual, I still did not get to cutting the splines on the axle shafts yet, but I am hoping to get that done soon. We got about uh, eight weekends full of chicken processing coming up uh, every Saturday and maybe Sunday. We've got a massive amount of chickens to do this year. And I'm going to start spending more time on chickens and, and beef cows and stuff like that because... Uh, it just seems to pay the bills better than the Jeep stuff does. So, I got a lot of chickens to process and get ready for beef in the fall. So, it's going to get kind of crazy busy around here. It's, uh, like it's not busy enough, but um, uh, there's there's things happening. And I, I sure would like to get the uh, the 3B chassis rolling. But um, got a few more things to do before I can make that happen. Uh, let's go out in the paint booth now, check it out, see if the mist has stopped, and we'll uh, we'll start painting the Dolphos project. Okay, guys, we're in the paint booth. Uh, it's a little bit uh, humid still, so we are going to use a slow reducer in the paint. I don't want this stuff drying too fast. It's about 78 degrees in the booth right now. And there's a lot of stuff to paint. This is going to be a two-day painting process uh, so I can flip things like the seats and stuff and the hood. I only want to do one side of the hood at a time. Uh, <clears throat> I got a lot of little accessories to do. Uh, fenders I can finish in, in one shot. But um, there is a lot of stuff to paint. So it's not going to happen all in one day. I'm going to get the whole entire body painted today and one side of everything else that needs it and I'll finish the fenders and I'll see what I could do with that fuel tank and um, it's gonna be a process once I get boogieing on this I gotta I gotta stay with it because like I say it's only gonna get warmer today and sometimes painting in the warm is uh, is a little trickier than painting in the cool weather but I'm gonna start mixing paint and we'll go at it.
Okay guys, that was a few hours of spraying. Um, two coats on the whole entire body. Underside's got three coats. Inside's got three coats. Outside's got a couple coats. Fenders in and out, three coats. And I have the underside of everything done here. There's not enough room in the booth to, to hang everything. So, two coats on the underside of everything. And two coats under the hood. We'll flip that. We'll flip all our little pieces. And there is the body. Completely painted. There'll be touch-ups to do when I get it off the, um, you know, there'll be a touch-up down there where it's attached. And there will be a touch-up on the tailgate hinges where I attached it to the rotisserie. But overall, everything came out very nice. Uh, I'm just going to get out of here and let everything dry without me walking around or anything. And the temperature is creeping up. We're probably, uh, last time I looked, we were 84. So this is going to flash off pretty fast, and uh, we'll be back tomorrow to <coughs> flip everything. And uh, we'll check out the body again, make sure we don't have to do any other painting on that. Fenders came out remarkable, so I'm very happy with those. We'll just take those off the uh, painting tree and uh, put them aside, and uh, we'll get finishing everything else. So. This is losing its sheen pretty fast. And it should be flat in no time. Okay, I'm going to head in the mixing room, clean the gun, and get out of here. Okay, guys, uh, day's kind of getting away from me. Uh, the painting is done for the day, and I'm just getting set up for those axle shafts. Uh, while well, I got a few minutes before the day's over. Uh, on this plate, uh, I do have a 19 hole setup. Um, th there's a lot of videos out there if you guys want to learn how to use a dividing head. And I just want to say there's, there's a lot of guys out there that uh, know a hell of a lot more about me than dividing. Uh, but I'm lucky enough to have a 19 hole plate. You could do it without that if you, uh, if you know how to do the calculations but it's easier for me just to use a 19 hole plate. Now that's going to cut this spline right here. This is the 19 spline that's going in uh, the spider gears. And this is the cutter that I had made for that. So this is a 60 degree 16th inch radius and I'm not sure if I'm going to run this in horizontal like that or if I'm going to do it vertically. I, I haven't decided which is going to be easier for me. But that's going to be one end. Here's my material. This is uh, 4340 steel and it will be hardened when I'm done. This is the other end and this is a six spline. It has a retaining ring. It's got a shoulder, a groove bevel. There's a lot going on on this end. Um, and I wanted to make that in one pass as well. So I had another cutter made. And that's the cutter for that. So uh, I sent these to a, a cutter grinder shop to do them for me and they did a perfect job. So that's going to cut that in one shot. So uh, the cutters are ready to go. My dividing head is ready to go. I'm hoping to get a little bit of free time and get these splines so I can send them out for hardening. Uh, we've got a weekend full of uh, chicken processing and I gotta finish painting Odolfo tomorrow. The, tomorrow's Friday. So uh, hopefully I'll be able to sneak a little bit of time and get these done and I'll show you the whole process um, a few guys had wanted to see how the splining gets done so I'll show you that process when it happens but I am getting set up nothing else is going to go on the mill 
Uh, next thing that's going to happen on this particular mill is the splining will be done. So hopefully that will happen soon. Okay guys, just one more quick look at Adolfo's body uh, before I head in for the day. Uh, the humidity is kind of killing me. It's uh, the end of the day and it's still not 100% flattened out. A little bit of sheen still left in the floor. Uh, things have a hard time drying in humidity. Uh, fans are on, we're on for quite a long time, but I just can't get enough air movement in here. But it is looking fantastic, and I'm sure with the coolness of the evening, everything will lay down just like I want it to. So we'll peek at this again uh, tomorrow. Like I say, the body tub is done, the fenders are done. I've got to flip all this stuff here. Get another coat on the other side, another couple coats, finish up the seats, the tank, and all that stuff. And uh, I'll be back with you sometime tomorrow on that. But just another look at it. Came out very nice. I know you'll be happy with it, Adolfo. So it won't be long. We'll get this on the chassis uh, sometime next week, hopefully, and get you finished up and driving and uh, get this thing running around. Okay. Uh, thanks for hanging in there, everybody. Uh, I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching as always.